Hello, my name is Bill Miller, and I will be your Chemistry 1010 instructor this semester. I'm very excited to get started, uh, and what I'll do is I'll go ahead and share my screen and go over some aspects of the class. Right now, we're inside the Canvas shell, and uh, you're seeing it from uh, my side, but I'll go ahead and put it in your side so I have student view. Welcome, as it says. And uh, right off the bat, uh, I want to go over a couple things. First off, that students uh, report that they spend, in addition to class time, which is three hours per week of lecture, which you'll be watching your lectures at home since lectures are asynchronous, um, watching videos and taking notes on them and turning in those notes for points. So that should take uh, about three hours per week. And uh, you'll also do a recitation assignment um, for about one hour per week. And then for homework, um, oh, uh, and all the things, oh, lab, sorry, lab, in person, 8 to 10.50 a.m. Thursdays. So that is going to be in uh, room 312. Um, and that'll be three hours or just a little less than three hours. Then what I'm trying to get to here is that there are 13 hours per week outside of class, studying, uh, doing homework, um, completing lab reports, uh, completing recitation questions. So that's uh, seven hours in class plus 13 hours outside of class on average if you want to do well in this class. So I know that's a lot of time to spend, but this is an important class and we want you to learn a lot. Um, my name, my office, uh, Chesapeake Hall 310D and my phone number, although email is the best way to get in touch with me, uh, either email directly to me or email through your inbox in Canvas. That would be great too. Um, and please put your name um, and uh, the course number in it so I can, that helps me find you and make sure that I'm answering the right questions as easily as possible. I appreciate that. Here are my office hours, um, and I will have some office hours on Mondays and Wednesdays that are online, and I give you the Zoom links right here. Just click on those, and it should take you to Zoom, and you should be able to get in touch with me and work through some problems. I also have office hours in person, Tuesday or Thursday, and you can see that the location is listed as either my office or the classroom. Uh, for example, Thursday, uh, right after lab ends at 1050, I will have an office hour and I might be sometimes in my office hour in Chesapeake Hall 312 if, um, if people want to hang out and uh, do work there. If nobody's there or if I need to go back to my office, it'll be in Chesapeake Hall 310D. So now the required textbook is free. It is a Libre textbook, which means that it's an online textbook and it's here. Um, uh, oh, with a couple different links just to make sure you get there. Now let's go ahead and go over, um, let's see, we went over office hours. Oh, I did not mention this. I'll mention this a couple times. So exams will be in person for this course and they will be during the lab time. So we'll take some of the lab time to do exams. We'll talk more about those as they come up. Let's see, let's go to modules. And for modules, you'll see at the top some support for Canvas, and that's because Canvas is new. We've also got student support. Um, then you've got some Chem 1010, so sort of some course specific information. Please read over this. These are all the things that help you do well in the class, and it's best if you read over them uh, as early as possible. You'll see the syllabus, the lecture lab and homework schedule. Um, the periodic table, conversions, and equations for exams. So I would suggest that you go to this link, print them out, and do all, have them next to you when you do all of your homework and all of your lecture outlines and recitations because you're going to get these uh, pages, the periodic table, and the conversions and equation sheets uh, on the exam. So you'll have them when you take the exam in person. And so if you know where everything is on these pages, that'll really help you out for um, uh, as far as take going quickly on the exam or a little uh, more, more quickly, as you say. 
nomenclature. So you'll see uh, several nomenclature questions on the homework. You'll see some nomenclature questions on the exam. All of the nomenclature you need to know and when you need to know it is on this uh, handout. So some of that nomenclature, uh, I have created ion flashcards for you. Those are uh, flashcards that you can cut out and quiz yourself. So they've got um, the names or the formulas for the ions, and you can write the name of the ion on the other side. Some Chem, chem 1010 uh, frequently asked questions and some more information. And then finally, we get to the course materials. Each week, there will be a lecture, homework, recitation, and uh, lab materials summary. And that is something you just look at. Um, a suggested workflow, which we'll go over in a minute. The lecture outline and its due date and how many points it is. And these uh, due dates are all, say, August 24th at 11.59 p.m. Uh, those are all the due dates are 11.59 p.m. Uh, or they're meant to be. If you see a different one, please let me know. They're meant to be all 11.59. A tell me a little bit about your self-assignment. Um, and that will take the place of our recitation for week one. A homework. And the homework will all be due on August 28th, which should be a Sunday at 11.59. And you can see some nomenclature. You can see um, different names here. So draw phases of matter. That tells you what the question is about. FIL stands for file upload. That means you're going to have to take a, uh, write your answer on a piece of paper, take a picture of it or scan it. And there's information about the Adobe Scan app or Cam Scanner. There's multiple ways to do it, but you need to turn it into a PDF. I do not want to see image files. Um, you will lose points for submitting image files like JPEGs. Uh, I need them as PDFs because that allows me to grade them easily. Uh, MC stands for multiple choice. FIB stands for fill in the blank. NUM, num, stands for number. That means you're going to solve a problem and put in a number. And an asterisk means that when you go all the way down to the end, you have to submit your work for those questions. And you can do the problem any way you want to solve it. So I always like it when you do it my way, but any way is fine as long as I can see how you solved it, as long as I can see the work that you did. Now, um, right, some of them have tutorial videos to help you solve the problems. And let's see, MA is multiple answers, so you'll be able to check off multiple answers there. So we have some more uh, file uploads, some more numbers. CF is a calculated formula. Uh, and what you'll find is that inside each of these questions, there are at least 10 different versions for almost all of them. So please feel free to do the homework with another person in the, in the class or another person in Chem 1010. I think I'm the only one who does these. So in the, in the class will be best if you want to compare notes. Then you can work on the similar questions. Um, so same kinds of questions, but different actual uh, questions. And then you can talk about how to do them. And then make sure when you show your work that you do your own work. What I mean by that is, oh, let's go up here. Um, was there anything else to show you down here? Oh, yeah. So there are some optional readings for the text, uh, including textbook readings. There's uh, companion and problem answer keys. You'll see companion problems in the lecture outlines and a check your knowledge. The check your knowledges are optional. They are not really worth points for the class. Um, that's just a way to check in and see if you've learned the material for this week. All right, so let's come back up here. Week one suggested workflow it says um, in week one, there's a long lecture outline and a pretty long homework, uh, but really there's no recitation and we will have an introduction to lab, but there will be actual no experiment this week. You do have to show up and we do go over how the class works there as well. So recommended approach to week one. First, complete the lecture outline, LO, by watching the lecture videos and completing the lecture outline handouts. Use the Adobe Scan app or Cam Scanner app to turn your lecture notes into one PDF per lecture outline. Upload the PDF, et cetera, et cetera. So you can read that. But the idea is you do the lecture outline, then start on the homework problems. 
even though the homework problems aren't due till Sunday, if you leave them all till Sunday, you will have all day Sunday doing homework <coughs> if you can finish them. They're meant to be done all through the week. So, and they're meant to be keyed to the lecture outlines. So that's why you do the lecture outline first. You've got your lecture outline notes. Then you do the homework problems. Um, then, and there's some more material about how to do the homework. <coughs> Excuse me. And then um, at any point while doing the homework, take a break and complete the uh, discussion board. Introduce yourself. And then strongly consider some of the optional assignments um, that will help reinforce uh, your learning. And then, of course, come to lab, uh, which I'm excited to see you in lab. Let's see, what else do we got? Um, <coughs> excuse me. In week approximately 5, 10, and 15, there will be midterm exams. And again, those will be in person. And we'll have more information and some practice sheets as we get closer and then you'll have your final exam. Uh, I think that's most of the information I wanted to tell you. Oh, points. So in this class, you can get all the points for homework. Each homework question, other than the fill in the blank ones, or sorry, not or the file upload ones, um, you actually have four attempts. And as long as you get one of those attempts correct, you get the full points for it. I take your highest grade on those. Those are good practice problems too, as you review for the exam, even if you get one right, you can still practice more. But you can get all the homework points. If you uh, have trouble with the homework, please ask. Start it early, ask questions during office hours, get those points. Recitation points. You can get all the recitation points as well. If you try the problems, if you have questions, talk to me and then you can get those points. Lab points. Most of the lab points you can get as well. We'll talk more about lab when you get there. And then there are exam points. Exam points are the toughest points, although what I would suggest is if you do all the homework, if you do all the recitation, uh, and if you do all the lab, the exams are, I would say, easier. If you don't do the homework, if you... Uh, don't do the recitations. If you don't understand what's going on, then the exams are much harder. But um, anyway, so you should have, so the exams are approximately 60%. The rest of the class is approximately 40%. If you have those 40% points for the homework, then you need fewer exam points to get the grade that you want. Plus, they help you do better on the exams. That's how I structure the class. The class is a lot of work, it is a lot of time, um, and hopefully you will learn a lot. And I am here to answer all of your questions. So come to office hours, uh, stay, plan on staying after lab for that office hour, and we will uh, get you through this class. Hopefully you'll do very well, and uh, that's my hope anyway. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you in class.